East Alabama and West Georgia, this is Kevin Moon from God's Country. It's time for your primetime forecast on Dr. Don's weather. Now, here's my friend, Dr. Don. Good morning, East Alabama and West Georgia. We are headed toward Christmas. Hello, how's everybody doing this morning? Hey, we've got your weather forecast for Tuesday, December 21, 2021 for the Shepherds Weather Center. Folks, uh, folks, please remember that Shepherd's Weather Center, um, yeah, that sponsorship is about to end, and we welcome Farm Boys, our brand new Weather Center sponsor. Uh, they'll be starting on January 1. Be sure and stop by Shepherd's Fine Jewelry and Gifts in downtown Roanoke, if for no other reason, to hug Miss Judy's neck and tell her and Mr. Mark, thank you for the many years of service in downtown Roanoke. She's got some great deals going on, too. Everything at the store, 30 to 50% off. Heck, make her a deal. She just might take you up on it. Shepherds, fine jewelry and gifts in downtown Roanoke. Uh, another icon about to uh, go away. It's kind of sad, but we really do appreciate them, and I hope you'll stop by there and say hey to them today and thank them for supporting Dr. Don's weather for so many years. All right, so don't forget to head over to the App Store, search for Dr. Don's Weather, click on the share button, and then hit that little present icon, and you can gift the Dr. Don Weather app for Christmas this year. Also, again, like I said, we welcome Farm Boys Sports Grill. They'll be taking over the Weather Center, Winter Weather Center sponsorship starting on January 1 and make your plans to go down there and dine with them. Coming up, um, well, they're open every single day from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., seven days a week. They have a full breakfast, lunch, and dinner menu. They have that seafood buffet on the weekends. They're down there at 32498 Highway 431 South between Roanoke and Lafayette. If you go in there and say, hey, we heard about you on Dr. Don's Weather, you're going to get 10% off your bill at the cash register. So go by there and do that and enjoy some fantastic food at Farm Boys Sports Grill. All right, let's talk about some weather, your uh, convective outlook for today. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and share it with your friends and ask them to share it with their friends. Not looking for any thunderstorm activity to speak of today, though we do have some heavier showers out there this morning. Now, I'm going to show all of that to you coming up when we take a look at your uh, Southern Union State Community College Live Doppler HD radar here in just a few moments. So, hey, look, a rumble of thunder can't be ruled out this morning across East Alabama and West Georgia, but we're not looking at any organized thunderstorms. You're going to have to go way down there into South Florida to find any major thunderstorm activity today, and that's because of a somewhat unusual low pressure system moving across the central Gulf of Mexico about to move across south central Florida this morning. These are the type of storms that typically would bring us a snow chance in the winter months, but we're so doggone warm, uh, that's not possible. Uh, even though we are going to be cooler for the next couple of days than what we've seen the last couple of weeks, it's still not quite cold enough to get any winter precipitation. And even though it's going to feel like Christmas headed toward Christmas, we're going to warm up on Christmas. <laughs> I'll show you what I'm talking about here in just a few minutes. Wednesday, no thunderstorm activity across pretty much the entire United States. Got to go way back out there to the Pacific Northwest to find any thunderstorm activity at all. And then on Thursday, Christmas Eve, Eve, yeah, nothing happening across the southeastern United States there as well. So there is a slight chance of a shower Christmas Eve night into Christmas morning. Now, I wanted to show you the future cast radar of that possibility. Uh, we're not showing really anything across East Alabama or West Georgia. We're going to let it loop another time or two. Uh, just watch real close there. You will see some returns across North Alabama, uh, Tennessee, up into Northeast Georgia, and then maybe a little bit down there around Panama City. So this particular comp computer model doesn't really think we're going to see much of anything 
Um, and so the forecast reflects that. Only about a 20% chance of a passing shower as Santa Claus makes his rounds Friday night into early Christmas morning. And then we go back to mostly sunny skies later on in the day. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be a deal at all. It wouldn't surprise me if this doesn't disappear from the forecast. Uh, it's kind of been back and forth uh, over the last couple of days. And I hadn't really mentioned it that much because I don't think it's going to be much to it. Uh, but I got to throw it in there. There is a possibility we could see a light shower late in the night, Friday night into early Saturday morning. So today... Yeah, you're going to see rain. It's going to be a wet day, especially the first part of the day. I think we dry out this afternoon, but it's going to be a cold, raw, rainy day. 47 in Roanoke, 47 in Ashland. We'll go to 45 in Lineville. We Dowie hits 45. Woodland will make it up to around 45 degrees this afternoon. Lafayette at 46 and Pine Mountain tops out at 49 this afternoon. Again, rainy, cloudy, cool this morning. Uh, we start to see a peak of the sun probably by late morning. And then by this afternoon, we may be more sun than clouds. And all the rain will be gone by that time. So let's take a look at your six-day forecast from the Shepherd's Weather Center. Head over to the YouTube and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And make sure you click that bell so that when we go live for severe weather, you'll get that push notification. So there it is, folks. That's what we're looking at for the remainder of Christmas week and Christmas. A 60% chance of rain this morning as that low pressure moves to our south. 47 will be your afternoon high. We'll dry up this afternoon. We're headed for 34, your overnight low tonight. Now, that feels a lot like Christmas. Wednesday, sunshine, 53 for your high, down to 30 on Wednesday night. We dip down below freezing. On Thursday, 57, we'll go to 36 on Thursday night. So far, so good, right? <laughs> That's Christmas weather until we get to Christmas. On Christmas Eve, mostly sunny. The big warm-up begins 64 on Friday afternoon, down to 52 on Friday night with that slight chance of showers after midnight into early Christmas morning. But don't worry, by the time the kids get up and they get that new bicycle and they get it outside, I think the rain is gone. We start to see uh, partly sunny skies, and by Christmas noon, it's we're completely sunny. 67 year high. I mean, almost 70 degrees on Christmas Day. Would not be surprised to see a few 70s uh, on Christmas afternoon. 49 year overnight low on Christmas night. And then on Sunday, 67 again. Overnight low around 51. Now, we're going to have to keep an eye on New Year's week. Uh, there are a couple of opportunities in there, maybe for some strong thunderstorms. Uh, but we're not seeing anything glaring at the moment. We're going to continue to watch that as we head forward. I'm going to show you what we think is going to happen on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day here in just a few minutes. But before we do that, let's take a look at your Southern Union State Community College Live Doppler HD radar. Here we go, folks. A lot of rain out there. A lot of this stuff is moving up from the north, up out of the Gulf of Mexico. And so, again, uh, some heavier showers across East Alabama from uh, about Auburn North, uh, right there along the Alabama-Georgia state line. Some heavier showers there from about I-85 up to around West Point, Lynette Valley. All of that's moving up into northern Harris County, up into Troop, uh, northeast Chambers. Uh, Roanoke, yeah, you've got a heavy shower setting just south of you. All of this stuff continues moving north and northeast. So it's going to be a wet start to your uh, Tuesday morning across East Alabama and West Georgia. Lots of folks are going to be traveling today. Uh, the travel season begins this morning. I being one of those, so I'm going to be out there in the middle of all that as well. Uh, so be careful. Now, this is not going to last all day. Like I said, by uh, late morning, early afternoon, all of this rain will be completely gone uh, and won't deal with it anymore. But until then, a rumble of thunder cannot be completely ruled out and uh, small areas of heavy rain uh, as these showers and thunderstorms continue to move up to the north off of the Gulf of Mexico. All right, so now let's take a look at your New Year's forecast. And this is what we are thinking is going to happen. Let me get that lower third off so that you can see what we're talking about here. 
Uh, so for Friday, New Year's Eve, we're going to give you a 30% chance of showers. And this is one of the areas where we're going to have to watch for the possibility of severe weather. Uh, there's some indication. Now, I know that's way out there, but there's already some indication that we may have a lot of instability around on uh, the 31st and stretching into the morning of the 1st. So uh, we're pretty sure at this point we're going to have some moisture in the area. And we're beginning to watch for the possibility of some severe weather development here. So we're going to fine tune this moving forward. 65 on New Year's Eve down to 52 New Year's Eve night. And then on Saturday, January 1, 2022. Right now we're calling for a 40% chance of showers, partly sunny in the afternoon. Again, we could have to watch for the possibility of some strong thunderstorms right there. 62 will be your high on New Year's Day, down to 44 for your overnight low. Don't forget to head over to drdonwx.com where you can support Dr. Don's weather by clicking on that donate button in the upper right-hand corner. You can also download the brand new Mixler app uh, over on the God's Country page where you can listen to God's Country anywhere in the whole wide world. And you can also listen to the classic. And don't forget to download Dr. Don's weather app while you're there as well. Again, thanks to all those folks you see scrolling there on the screen like Genesis Weight Clinic made in the South. Miss Judy Aubrey at Shepherd's Fine Jewelry and Gifts. Again, closing at the end of this year. So uh, yeah, only a few days left at Shepherd's Jewelers and Fine Gifts in downtown Roanoke. Stop by there and tell Miss Judy thank you. And uh, tell her we appreciate uh, the Aubrey's, uh, you know, uh, supporting Dr. Don's weather and uh, Christmas shop with her because uh, she's got some great deals going on there. And I'm sure you can pick up uh, some really, really nice pieces at a really good price. Shepherds, fine jewelry and gifts in downtown Roanoke. Kind of sad to see them go. Hey, y'all have a fantastic rest of your Tuesday. I'm going to be on the road today and uh, going to be taking a little time off for Christmas. Now, I will continue to blog on Facebook and on Dr. Don's weather app, you need to download it. And uh, we'll keep you updated on the weather via blog for the next couple of days. Uh, if I see something that I think warrants uh, doing something live or uh, coming back with a video forecast uh, between now and the first part of the year, then I certainly will. I'll be back in the studio by the 30th. So. Uh, I'll be back for your New Year's Eve forecast. But between now and the 30th, Godspeed. Have a great Christmas. Enjoy your family, your friends. Just slow down a minute. Take some time. Enjoy it. Live life a little bit. And remember the reason for the season. Y'all have a fantastic Christmas. I'll see you on the blog. Dr. Dodd's Weather. Bye now.